Hello, lovely people. My name is Quinlet. I am a gospel minister. So I came out and sent a tribute to Minister Osinachi from Nigeria. And after this tribute, I've had a lot of messages in my inbox because I stated in the tribute that uh, I had a very good contact with the late Minister Osinachi and her husband. Yes, it is true. We wanted to have a collaboration with her uh, in this song, in uh, Wind Blow. Yes, in Wind Blow, the song I collaborated with Minister Jimmy the Psalmist. The song is on YouTube. If you type Quinlet Music on YouTube, the song is there. You can listen to the song. It was this particular song that, in fact, she was the one that we wanted to do this co collaboration with. But for one or two reasons, we rescheduled her for another collaboration. Yes. And uh, during some of our conversations, I realized certain things, okay? I'm not here to judge anybody. I'm not here to speak in favor of anyone. But I'll play one of our audios. Yes, I have the recording. I have it from my management because my management line is always on recording. It is normal here in Germany, in Europe, everywhere. If you call a particular office, it is on recording. Yes, so that is how my management line is. So, um, and by, by the grace of God, that is why I have this, this particular voice to show you something. I want you to have a very broad knowledge, okay, concerning this issue that I want to talk about. Um, it is an issue of death and it is very sensitive and that is why I'm not going to speak in favor of anybody. Yes, but I want all of us to check something out. I'll play the voice. Now, what to make a married woman stay in an abusive marriage? Because from what I have read online, allegedly she died out of an abuse, domestic violence, okay? What to make a woman stay in such a marriage? Um, a lot of people have said so many things. Some said they spoke with her to get out of the marriage. And some are aware that she was beaten here and there. It means she, she told some people about her issue. Was the church aware of this particular issue? Was the family aware? Was it because she had a particular belief as a Christian that she doesn't want to go out of marriage? Uh, was it because of her children? Now, I know somebody who was refusing to go out of an abusive marriage because she had a blood covenant with her husband. There are so many reasons for people staying in such marriages. I don't know. But from what I have read, it means she confided in a lot of people. But why did she still stay in this marriage until she died? That is where the question lies. And let me play this audio and listen to something, please. The song, have you, have you, have you discussed with my husband the song and have you listened to the song? You see, she was asking my management team, have you discussed with my husband concerning the song and has he listened to the song? In fact, by then, they have already spoken to the husband. Before, it was, the, it was even the husband who gave us chance to speak to her. So... Uh, when we spoke to her, she was also asking if we have already spoken with the husband and has he listened to the song? Listen to what uh, comes next. Listen to the song, but you know we have, everything is there. Uh, just, just, just discuss with him, let him listen to the song, discuss everything. Then, whatever he will let me know. So you see, she said we should just discuss with him. And we should let him listen to the song. Whatever it is, he will let her know. It is a very long conversation. I'm not going to play all. So in this conversation, somebody will say, Oh, this man was very, uh, uh, how do we, authoritative on the woman. Because he's supposed to go through everything that the woman is doing. Even though the woman is there. And I heard that it was the... In fact, he told us he's the one who manages the woman. So, 
um like other people have already said i've heard it yeah he told us that so does it mean it was because of management issue that the woman said something like this was it out of fear it is a whole lot you know so I, I i just sat down and i was contemplating on this whole thing in fact this audio is very long it's a very long conversation we spoke with them several times i realized something i'm not going to say it here but from what you have listened to you can also think about so many things i've already uh, raised certain issues up okay i am asking that why would a married woman stay in an abusive marriage is it because she's afraid that her family will say she has brought shame to them is it because of the society what will make this thing happen this is a very delicate issue and it is happening in so many homes and i believe that by the time i finish with this particular issue a lot of people will be saved i've already said i'm not here to judge anything I'll come your way another time. My name is Quindit. Thank you. God bless you. So you can search for me on all social media platforms. 